what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'm going to share with you guys the new PS Vita jailbreak that is coming out July the 1st yes the flow has been working on a jailbreak for the PS Vita that's on an higher firmware and they have finally succeeded with everything and they're going to release it on July the 1st now if I bring my calendar up you can see that we're now on the 28th of June and July is just one to just two days away and we're in July the first right here so on July the first the jailbreak will be released now this is good news for a lot of people because a lot of people have updated their PS Vita accidentally and they're not able to use the jailbreak so I'll leave some links in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out but over on the PSX place website you have some useful information that everyone should read through now let me explain a little bit if your PS Vita or your PS TV is running on 3.65 then this will allow you to install a 3.65 ENSO so what ENSO is it's a permanent custom firmware I do have a video over here and I'll leave the link in the description as well and this video show you how to install the permanent firmware so what the permanent firmware does is that every time you reboot your console you you don't have to enable Enkaku anymore because it's a permanent custom firmware your Vita or your PS TV will always have this um, custom firmware installed so if your console is running on 3.65 that's the only firmware that can install ENSO which is the permanent custom firmware so if your Vita is above 3.65 if it's over 3.65 then you have to install Enkaku Enkaku is no different from the permanent firmware the only thing is that when you power off your console you have to enable Enkaku at all times and I also have a video here how to install Enkaku on your Vita or your PS TV so remember if you are on 3.65 you can get the permanent custom firmware if you are above 3.65 like you can only install Enkaku there is not much difference the only thing is that Enkaku you have to enable it every time you power off your console but if you put your console in sleep mode you don't have to enable it right so 3.65 permanent custom firmware above 3.65 then you have to install Enkaku again it's the same the only difference is one is permanent one you have to install you have to enable it every time and if you go all the way down they show you like a video with their with the H Encore um, custom firmware running and also down here they give you some useful information as well and everything so guys this is very um, very very helpful information right here and this is a very useful jailbreak that's coming out soon so get, again guys um, stay tuned and I'll also try my best to do a video if I can about this and let you guys know how it actually works remember guys July the 1st the jailbreak for Vita is coming out so subscribe for more video guys and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video